extroverts in the house, make some noise! <laughs> I'm so happy and excited to be here and to talk about this topic. How to enjoy client calls even if you're an introvert, like me. Alam nyo guys, being in this stage, in, in front of this big audience with the spotlight over me, this is so much fun for introverts. <laughs> God. Honestly, yung kamay ko lang lalamig na right now. And yung kaba ko dito, nararamdaman ko na. So, pag... <laughs> Thank you so much! So, pag nagkamali ako mamaya, alam niyo na kung bakit. Before I start, I have a question for you. As a freelancer, when it comes to talking with clients, alin kayo dito? Number one. Sino dito number one? Woohoo! Number one represent. Number one din ako eh, so I feel you. Number two, yung slightly nervous lang. Wow, level up. Okay, number three, cool and confidence. Woo! Sanjan, I love it. You know, I know, sa harap, sa likod. You guys should be speaking over here. But the reason I asked that was that I've been there. Number one, number two, number three. I remember my first client call, January 2021. Grabe yung kabako, guys. It was in my personal network. They needed a website for an art project. Nakita niyo yung kulay pula na yan? Yan yung confidence level ko. Ang taas, no? Grabe. And you know, bakit ba naging ganun? Bakit ba hindi ko na-enjoy yung call na yan? Ito yung some reasons. Too much notes. Before pa lang pumasok sa meeting na yun, alam niyo ba, 10 pages na yung notes ko. Over preparation, kasi nga sobrang kabado. Nilagay ko doon yung structure, yung script, pati ba naman yung, hello, how are you today? Patay talaga. Meron ba nakarelate dito sa ganun? Ganun level? I feel you. Aside from too much notes, ito yung effect nun. Sounded robotic. Alam niyo yung parang, yung conversation nyo parang, mm, mm, mm. Di, ko, di ko na enjoy eh, kasi... May pinapalo akong script, tapos parang kabadong kabado ako. Tapos, aside from this nervousness, and you know, too, too much notes, sounded robotic, meron ng physical manifestations yung call eh. Kala natin si Eminem. Sabi niya, palms are sweaty. I'll be like, I feel you, Eminem. Yan talaga yung naramdaman ko nun. And to top it off, after a couple of days, Sabi ni client, Hi, Kat. Sorry. The project's not going through. Ouch. I felt rejected. Like this kitty. Did you ever feel rejected? Sa mga calls? Sa mga client calls? Yes? You feel me. And so, this happened not just once. Multiple times, being rejected, not enjoying client calls, it was not fun. Meanwhile, yung ibang designers, yung ibang freelancers, ang kalik na lang magpagkwentuhan sa mga tao. They're oozing with confidence, like this guy. You know this guy? And most importantly, they were closing deals, like this guy, <laughs> Mr. Krabs. So I started to think, ano ba dapat kong gawin? Merong something mali dito, kailangan kong mag-improve. How can I improve? And so during a course of a year, while doing 60 plus client calls, what I did is I reviewed old calls, researched how successful people did it, read about sales psychology. Yan yung calendly ko, sobrang dami. So na parang napag-practice ko sila. 
And something started to change in my mind. I started having fun. I was smiling, diba? And there were compliments of all. I said, our meeting was delightful. I truly enjoyed every second. You're smart and funny, blah, blah, blah. But most importantly, the invoices got paid. Right? So I went from being stressed with coins like this Kermit to being happy with bills like this Kermit. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Guys, do you want to be happy like this, Kermit? Yes. Louder! Yes. Awesome! So today, I'm going to share what I learned in my journey so far. Three things to do for an effective client call. Alright, first a quote. People don't buy because they understand you. They buy because you understand them. Something to think about. The difference between the first sentence and the second sentence is the attitude or the mindset behind it. Diba? So that's number one, having the right mindset. And today, I want to share two types of mindset inspired by Josh Braun. If you're on LinkedIn, you should be following this guy. He's too good. So, what is attached mindset? Sounds like this. I must persuade people. I must impress this client. I must close this deal. Honestly, guys, starting out, I think mindset go. I felt like if I didn't impress them, if I didn't, you know, present myself as something so good, I won't get hurt. Wala, mako, hindi ko mako close yung client. So, ito yung mindset ko. And it didn't turn out well for me. You know? Meanwhile, compare this to this one. Detached mindset. Sounds like this. It's not my job to persuade people. My job is to clarify the problem and maybe provide potential solutions so that the client can freely decide. I'm from some people, but I'm not from everyone. That's okay. When I started changing my mindset to this, I realized something. The pressure was off. And I started to enjoy calls, just being present and talking with the clients. And I realized you don't have to win them over because you're an equal. Yes? Awesome. So the attached mindset looks like the one on the left. You feel smaller. Like you need something from the client, right? And the detached mindset looks something like on the right. You're an equal. The truth is they need you as much as you do. They need your expertise, right? They need your um, creativity to solve their problems. Without you, they can't move forward. Interesting. Ito may story ako, Mike lang. I was talking re recently with this client of mine in Norway, and he said something unusual. Sabi niya, Kat, I have a problem. My researchers and VAs are from the Philippines. And you know what? They're so respectful. They say, sir, mom, to everybody. <laughs> and, then I, and then he said, it's detrimental to the business. In the West, you know, in their culture, you need to treat your prospects, potential clients as peers not employers or boss. And that conversation really struck me. And so, I want you to remember you're an equal. And having this right mindset actually leads to number two. What's number two? Listen more, talk less. Diba pag wala kang agenda sa conversation, 
You can be fully present. You can genuinely listen. You want better calls? Let the client do the talking. And then genuinely listen to understand and not to sell anything. Be like this doll. Your client is in this situation. The color red, this red dot. They have a problem. They want to solve it. And they want to transform to this blue dot, the desired future. Yung goal lang natin sa call na to or any, any type of talking with clients is to figure out sa line na yan, can you help with that transformation? Can you provide or help them attain their desired future. So what's an example for that? Sabi natin, pumunta ka sa doktor. Sabi mo sa doktor, Dok, tatlong araw na, sakit na ang ulo ko. Kung ano-ano nang iniinom kong gamot, wala pa rin. Tapos sabi ng dok, alam mo, yung paa mo, tingin ko may something. May something dyan sa paa mo. Sabi mo, dok, hindi po yung, yung ulo ko po yung masakit. Ay, hindi, tingin ko yung paa mo talaga. di ba? Will you be pissed off at that kind of conversation? Yes? Right? So, the only way for us to help prospects solve their problem is starts with listening. And genuinely listening. And this leads to another thing that's important. Aside from listening, you need to ask the right questions. So that's my number three. Prepare your questions. Di ba pag may homework ka, tapos ginawa mo lang maaga, yung hindi ka nagkakram. Masaya ka eh. Hindi ka stressed eh. Sino ba dito crammer? Ayun. Lalo na nung college, no? Mga crammers dyan. So, hindi maganda yan sa ano, client ko. So, huwag mong gawin yan. Prepare your questions. Have a client criteria before you go to any type of conversation, at least, alam mo kung ano yung hinahalap mo. Right? It's typically these three things. For me, these are the three things. Outcomes. Ano ba gusto nila manyari? Gusto nila ng more customers? Gusto nila ng magandang website to give them credibility? They want more great content on social media. So, you need to find ano yung outcome na yun. Next is timeline. Ano yung time frame? Is this rush? Kaya mo ba i-deliver in this duration? And last is budget. Of course, you need to know if meron siyang funds to afford you your services. So, I would suggest to prepare some questions. Again, this could be different for everyone, but, it ni but it's nice to have some samples. So for me, these are the things that I usually ask. What, for outcome, what would your successful project look like, right? Again, this is your samples. You can have your own. The idea is to have questions that ask about the outcome, okay? Okay, for the timeline, what time frame do you have in mind? And for budget, what's the budget for the project? And now, Yung mga clients minsan ay nila sabihin or hindi talaga nila alam. So, an alternative question. My fees typically range from X to Y. How does that sound? So, asking those questions will give you an idea, right? If there's a good fit. So, preparing these questions in ha in, in beforehand will give you the peace of mind that you're going to write to ask the right questions in the call. That's why it's important. And so, to recap, the three things, right mindset, listen more, talk less, and prepare your questions. The goal of the call is to check if there's a good fit. So no need for persuading, no need for any high pressure sales. You can prepare and just relax, have a conversation like a friend. And you know what? Aside from doing these three things that really helped me, 
that might help you too. There's still one thing that helped me so much. You guys, do you want to hear about it? Yes. Parang inaantok na ata ng konte. Sorry na, introvert kasi. Do you want to hear about it? Yes. Awesome, awesome. Question. Alam niyo kung ano to? Wrong answers only. Ano to? Kuchinta. <laughs> ano? Ayun, sige. Okay, next question. Sino dito gusto ng cookies? Meron ba? Saan? Saan? You guys, you know, it's your lucky day. Because the first seven people who takes a picture of this and tags me on Instagram, Kat Espinosa, and Tribe X, and Tribe, the, the ano, account ng Tribe, and then use the hashtag Tribe Experience, you'll get a box of cookies from me today. Is that good? All right. So, tingnan natin kung ano yung nangyari ngayon. By the way, legit yun ha. I am really giving away cookies today. Let's observe what just happened. I said, anyone here likes cookies? And I'm going to give it for free? And then suddenly, people started smiling. They started paying attention. And they did what I asked them to do. Isn't that interesting? When you give away something for free, people get interested. I like to call that the cookie capital. Capital, hindi yung Manila, Philippines, ha? Hindi yung, ano, capital ng country. But, I mean, like in business, giving away, investing something of value. You see, giving away something of value for free creates this goodwill in people. Cookie capital is a metaphor of value. It doesn't have to be cookies. It can be any type of valuable content, social media, comments, free advice, anything that plants a seed of goodwill in the mind of another person. You know, I started doing this, planting goodwill online, creating content, posting on LinkedIn, commenting and all that. And something interesting happened. I get this type of messages. You've inspired me, Kat. So thought-provoking. I think it would be a good idea to have a chat. Hmm. Interesting. Or, Kat, your stuff is awesome. Listen, I'm not writing to sell you anything, but to be sold to. Wow. Phew. Can we do an intro meeting or something next week? Right? So, yung cookie capital ko, guys, nag-ROI na! So, this is what happens when you give something of value for free, generously. My challenge for everyone here, create awesome content that turns them into fans. Why? Because content builds relationship. Yes, no? Yeah. What? <laughs> so that by the time you get them on a call with you, they already know, like, and trust you. Powerful, right? This is powerful stuff, guys. Honestly. Gusto yeah. nito? Yes, no? Yeah. Parang hindi kayo sure, eh. yeah. Yes na yes, ha? 
start giving. You want better calls? You want better client relationships? Start giving more, more, and more. Thank you.